So since you clicked on this video, you're most likely interested in applying to study at a university in Finland. That's great. In addition to the direct way of applying to study in Finland, there's also this really cool new program called University Pathway Studies that is becoming a new alternative way for you to apply to a university in this country. So in this video, I will explain everything that you need to know about this new University Pathway Studies program, what it is, what does it actually contain, and what can you actually study after graduating from this program. All right, so what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Oliver here and also welcome back again <laughs> to the Aalto University campus here in Espoo, Finland. So Aalto University is my alma mater. I actually did my entire studies in this university and we're actually working at the campus on a new startup of which I will be talking about in future videos. Anyways, to the point. So if you have been looking to apply to a university in Finland, you might already know that there are many different ways to apply and to get admitted. So as I mentioned, there's this really cool new program called the Pathway Studies to Finland that is organized by a group of Finnish universities. The idea of the Pathway Studies is to offer international applicants a convenient way of gaining admission to a number of degree programs in Finland by allowing you to study the first year of your studies online and if you're successful in passing a certain amount of courses with good enough grades, you will be eligible to apply to continue your studies in Finland as a full-time degree student. Okay, so that's really awesome, but how does this pathway studies actually work? Well, in short, you will first apply to study a program available through the pathway studies and start studying from home. So there are basically two types of pathway studies available in Finland, one for universities and one for universities of applied sciences. So the University of Applied Applied Sciences Pathway Studies to Finland consist of 60 ECTS credits, which is basically the normal pace for a year of full-time studies in Finland. And the courses are taught online in English by experienced university teachers. The Pathway Studies are fully accredited as a part of your degree, meaning that if you decide to continue your degree in Finland after finishing the Pathway Studies, you will be able to continue your studies in Finland as a second year student. So the degree studies that you will continue with after the Pathway program are taught in English at selected universities of applied sciences in Finland and the universities have reserved a number of spots exclusively for successful Pathway study graduates. Important to note that the tuition fee for the University of Applied Sciences Pathway Studies is 6,000 euros. Do note that there are also Pathway study opportunities at the research university levels but let's go through those in just a second. Also if you do do not yet know what the difference between a university and a university of applied sciences is, please check out this video for more information. Talking about living in Finland, if your plan is to come and study a degree in Finland and specifically here in the Helsinki capital region, I really recommend that you check out the student apartments from today's sponsor, which is HOAS. So HOAS or the Foundation for Student Housing in the Helsinki region is the largest student housing provider in the capital region and they rent, build and maintain over 10,000 student apartments just like these ones here in Jämeren Taival 10 in the Otaniemi campus. What's really cool about Hoas is that their student apartments like the ones here in Jämeren Taival 10 and all the other apartments in Jämeren Taival is that not only are their apartments extremely affordable but they're also really well located when it comes to commuting to all of the big university campuses in the capital region. For example, all of these student buildings here in Jämeren Taival are actually located inside the Aalto University campus in Otaniemi and are just a couple of minutes away from the campus main buildings. Anyways, more information about Hoas and all of their apartments like these ones through the links in the description box below. All right, so next let's talk about what you can actually study during the pathway studies. So at the time of recording this video, there are options for students interested in information and communication technology and international business. You can check out the exact curriculum for each program from the pathway studies website, which is linked in the description box below. However, please consider that the pathway studies program is still rather new and I'm sure that more diverse programs will be added to it in the future. All right, next let's talk about eligibility to the program as well as the admission process. So in order to be eligible to apply to a University of Applied Sciences pathway study program, you must hold a school leaving certificate that would make you eligible to apply to a higher education in your home country. This could be, for example, a high school certificate, but this will naturally depend on your home country and its educational system. In addition to a previous school leaving certificate, you need to demonstrate your 
your proficiency in English during an online interview. You can get an exception to this if English is your first language. Your language proficiency and other things related to your eligibility to apply will be verified during the application process. Anyways, the application process itself is actually very simple and consists of three steps. First, you must fill out an online application form and attach all required documents, a copy of your passport or other ID, and a copy of your final secondary school certificate or a copy of an equivalent certificate. So after the documents and applications have been checked, you will be invited to an online interview. So please note that if English is not your first language, your proficiency in English language will be checked during this interview. Also, before the interview, you will be asked to write a motivation letter for the application board. However, after you have successfully completed these first steps, you will be invited to join the UAS Pathway Studies program. After being invited, you will need to pay the tuition fee before your studies start. Alright, so what happens after you have actually completed your UAS Pathway studies? Well, all students who have completed at least 40 ECTS study credits during the Pathway study year with an average grade of 3.0 or above with a grading scale from 1 to 5 are eligible to apply to a number of selected degree programs at Universities of Applied Sciences partaking in the Pathway program. So please note that if you're not able to complete enough ECTS study credits or your average average grade level falls below 3.0, you are not able to directly continue your studies in Finland, but you're still eligible to apply to degree studies using the normal joint application process. Again, if you don't know what this means, I have a video explaining all the different normal application processes for universities right here. Also, it's important to know that the tuition fee and scholarship options available starting from your second year of studies or the first year of your studies in Finland will depend on each university's own policies. You can choose the universities that you would like to apply to in your application after the pathway studies. Importantly, all students taking part in the UAS Pathway Studies program that choose to continue to study a degree in Finland will be accredited with the courses and ECTS credits that they have completed during the UAS Pathway program. So this is actually really awesome because it means that you will not have to start from scratch after arriving to Finland. Instead, you will basically continue from where you left off. Alright, so if that's the Pathway program organized by Universities of Applied Sciences, let's briefly talk about the Pathway program organized by research universities. So while there are already a large number of Universities of Applied Sciences organizing the Pathway Studies program, this number is quite a bit lower with universities. Regardless, the concept is the same. First, apply to a Pathway Studies program, and second, complete the required courses at a high enough level, based on which you will get the opportunity to progress to continue with degree studies in Finland. So while the concept is the same, there are a few differences between universities and universities of applied sciences that you should know about. So let's use the pathway studies organized by Aalto University as an example. So first, the pathway studies program organized by universities is not quite as long as the one organized by universities of applied sciences. In fact, the university pathway program organized by Aalto University in collaboration with Tampere University is around one to one and a half months shorter than the equivalent UAS program. In addition, the amount of credits that you will get from the University Pathway program organized by Aalto and Tampere universities is slightly less with 20 ECTS credits compared to the minimum of 40 ECTS that you would need to achieve at the UAS Pathway program. In addition, the final major difference is the application process, which is a bit more rigorous for the University Pathway program. So while the Universities of Applied Sciences use an online interview and a motivation letter, Aalto University and Tampere University will require you to take an online entrance exam and a 30-minute oral exam that is organized only for for the top candidates. So the entrance exam is a electronic exam testing your mathematic skills, while the oral exam tests both your mathematic skills as well as your proficiency in English. If you are interested in learning what kind of topics the exam will test, the exact topics as well as the preparatory materials are listed on Aalto University's website, which is linked in the description box below. All right, so if these are the differences in the application, there are two things regarding the admission that you need to know about 
about. In short, those students who complete the pathway courses at the required level and meet the other admission criteria will get an offer from one of the progression degree programs, but not necessarily the program of your first choice. The second and the really cool thing to note is that when admitting students from the pathway program, again, Aalto and the Tampere universities will issue the highest ranking students with a 100% tuition fee scholarship. So according to the universities, typically around one third of those admitted through the pathway program can receive a full scholarship and those who do not receive a full scholarship will be entitled to an early bird offer which will give them a 50% reduction on the tuition fee for their first year. All students will also be eligible to apply for Tampere University scholarships during their studies. So please check out the detailed instructions on scholarships from the Tampere University specifically from their website. Again, links below. Having said this, please note that there are no scholarships available that would cover the pathway program tuition fee itself. So that is something that you will have to pay regardless. So finally, and this is what is most important about doing the Pathway Studies program at a university level, which is that once you're accepted to the bachelor's degree level program through your Pathway Studies, you're also automatically given the right to continue your studies in selected master's programs without a separate application process. All right, so I know that this was a bunch of different information and I'm sure you have a lot of questions. Uh, and if you have any, please write them down in the comment section down below. And next, also check out this video where I explain the differences between universities and universities of applied sciences. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.